Jnana Yoga is the direct path. It is the path of knowledge, but not knowledge of things, not worldly knowledge, which you can call information, not mental knowledge. It is the knowledge of self. The reason it is called the direct path it is because it, it is not a belief system. It is not a process you must follow. It is not something you must sort of do for a certain amount of time to realize something. It is not a path. It is here and now being empty, being fully clear of all your belief systems, all you believe to be true, all your ideas, all your assumptions, all your interpretations, even your own identity, what you consider to be yourself, what you assume to be yourself, setting all that aside and being as clear and empty as possible to, again, here and now, look into the nature of self. Look to see directly in your experience what is it that I sense as myself? What is there more to me than just this body and this bundle of thoughts and emotions? What is subtler than, prior to, deeper than this body, this mind, this personality? And again, it does not require you to believe something. It does not require you to follow, you know, a, a certain set of actions. It is just here and now looking into the nature of yourself and therefore the nature of life. Finding the source through silence. So you will see that this path, although the most direct, is also sort of you can say challenging in its own way because it requires you to be okay with the subtlety of this practice this practice is very very subtle because there are so many layers of mind that the looking that we do in this practice may not even make sense right oftentimes when we discuss self inquiry self inquiry is nyana yoga you can say it is the the practice of nyana yoga when we discuss self inquiry you may go you know like i have no idea what that means or what he's talking about or if i right now ask you to become aware that you are aware the mind may go what the hell does that mean so see, this process requires a, this practice requires a certain level of subtlety in your looking. Not your physical eyesight, but your actual knowing, your being. And in, in the path of Jnana Yoga, we, through direct looking, see what is not myself, right? All that you perceive, all that is seen to arise and subside, to come and go, to change, cannot be myself. I am that which is constant, stable, permanent, changeless, from where I perceive all this change and temporariness. So it is a process of seeing what I am not and abiding in the prior most principle, the prior most essence, your being, and truly abiding as that and thereby understanding its nature from within. So see, it is not a mental path. Even though it is called self-inquiry, it is not a mental inquiry for which we seek a mental conclusion. Instead, the understanding is what comes from within when abiding in silence in silence all becomes clear in silence we are easily able to separate that which i am not and that which i am and you cannot know that which you are you can only be that which you are because anything that you know 
itself is temporary. It is seen. It is observed. So again, this path requires you to have a certain level of subtlety in your looking and a certain level of openness. And on this path, path, I use that word very, very lightly, it requires you to set aside all your beliefs and recognize that it is not about working hard or putting a lot of effort, but rather giving yourself, your ideas up to this. Putting everything on the line and being able to see if it is false or true. When we cling to what is false, when we attach ourselves to what is false, we automatically bar ourselves from what is true, even if it is obvious. So on this path, it is not about hard work or effort, but instead about how much you're able to just relinquish your attachment to. Not giving up your life or, what, or anything, but again, right here in this moment, are you willing to become fully empty? Or is there a certain addiction that you have to phenomena, to personality, to past and future? So it's truly a beautiful path. And if it resonates, then I encourage you to implement the process of the practice of self-inquiry into your life because it will truly change everything for you, not just your actual physical experience, but also your perception of yourself, life, everything that you currently believe to be true. It will go through a radical shift and transformation through inquiry. Okay, uh, now I have made a ton of videos on self-inquiry on this channel. You can feel free to go through all of those. I'll also link my self-inquiry playlist down below in the first comment of this video and in the description box. But also, you can feel free to... <laughs> my landscapers just came. So I'll wrap this video up. You can also feel free to watch my free one-hour map masterclass on self-inquiry in which I teach you how, the, how to actually do the practice step by step. Okay? Happy practicing. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, now, if you want to be personally coached by me to dissolve mind identification and discover your true being, you can check out all the details for my Higher Consciousness Shift program. I'll link it down below and, and it'll be under the coaching section, okay? Other than that, please give this video a thumbs up uh, to support the channel and subscribe for more videos like this. I will see you next time.